this is Alex from phpacademy.org with another tutorial for the new Boston. Now in this tutorial we're going to be looking at multi-dimensional arrays. Now multi-dimensional arrays put really really put into use um, or into practice the use of arrays. Now as it stands we've created this uh, array at the moment we have an associative array with different food types here and um, we've assigned values of the amount of calories in each food so we've given an example of how an associative array can be useful now we're going to move on to something slightly more complicated which is multi-dimensional arrays it sounds more complicated than it is but in actual fact the basic concept of this is an array inside an array and this can be multi-dimensional so it can be a, a, a two-dimensional array um, a three-dimensional array and so on and so forth um, and you need to really think about this as categories now in this example I'm going to be creating two categories I'm going to be creating a category called healthy and unhealthy and then inside these different categories I'm going to be adding different types of food so I'm going to class pizza as oh sorry <laughs> pizza as unhealthy and I'm going to be classing salad vegetables veg vegetables and pasta as healthy food. So this is basically a multi-dimensional array because we're going to have an element, um, two elements, healthy and unhealthy, and then we're going to have more arrays. And pizza is going to be within an array in itself, and salad, vegetable, and pasta is going to be in an array. In fact, we'll add another another unhealthy. Um, I'll say ice cream. Um, okay, so this is what we want to achieve so let's modify underneath here we'll comment this out just so it's not going to be uh, taken as code okay so we've commented that out this is essentially what we want okay so this is the uh, this is the um, top array so let's delete everything we've got inside the first thing we're going to do is create two elements to our array the first one is healthy the second one is unhealthy Okay, so now what we want to do is we're creating a, essentially an associative array because I want to add a value to this and a value to this like we did in the associative arrays tutorial. But now instead of assigning a value, you may think, oh yeah, I'm going to start to assign um, salad as healthy and then blah, blah, blah. It's going to get all mixed up. So what we do is we take it into another dimension and we say we're assigning the value so we have created an array inside an array so we're already talking um, into a second dimension so if I add another array in here um, let's just run this to prove that it's gonna work okay yes yeah, so we're not receiving any errors at all now inside these arrays we can start to add our um, our foods so um, let's add salad vegetables and pasta and then in unhealthy let's add pizza and ice cream okay so now we've essentially created a multi-dimensional array what we can do is we can bring this down um, to make it uh, sort of look a, look a bit better so pull this down to here. It's a bit tricky with this text service that I'm using, but you you get the general idea of how we can um, how we can make it you know look a bit a bit more uh, easy to read if you like. So we'll, let's get rid of this up here just so we look a bit neater. Okay, so let's run this um, to make sure everything's working. Yep, we've not received any errors. So now how are we going to access each element of this array? So what we've essentially done is we've created um, an associative array with the value of the of the associative of healthy and unhealthy as an array. So we've created a multi-dimensional array. So how are we going to access these different uh, elements? Well, we can echo out food. Again, remember we're using our square brackets. And then we address healthy. But then what we do is we need to access either element or either um, key 0, 1, or 2. So what? how do we do this? You know, we need to add something around here to, to be able to access that. All we do is we put another pair of square brackets next to it and then we type the element. So 
as this stands, um, we're accessing the array food, the key of healthy here, and then inside that, the first key, which is salad. So we're essentially here echoing out salad. Now you can already see how this is the start, starting to pull together into a database type structure. So let's just refresh and see if that works. We're echoing salad. Now we can change this to make, uh, say perhaps two. That's gonna echo out pasta. And let's refresh, pasta. Okay, so um, we can obviously change this to unhealthy and access element one, which would be ice cream. So you can see how we can do this and change it. And you can see now how it's got um, multiple dimensions to this array. So that is basically um, an, a multi-dimensional array in PHP, um, how we declare it, and also how we um, access uh, each, each element.